UFC lightweight division belt. trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here is Dustin Poirier making the walk for yet another big UFC spot here tonight. UFC 236 was his coming out party, DC. He ended Max Holloway's 13-fight winning streak, and in a near-perfect performance in a lot of respects, was able to realize a UFC interim lightweight. They say diamonds are forever, and so is Dustin Poirier. It seems like he's been here the whole time. We've seen this young man grow up in the UFC. We saw him at 145 pounds have a ton of success, but we've truly seen him come into his own as he's going up to lightweight a UFC interim champion, and he's beaten guys like Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, and Max Holloway. One of the best fighters at 155 is Dustin Poirier. And with Dustin Poirier and Daniel Cormier, safe to say that Lafayette, Louisiana has made a pretty good UFC footprint over the last few I years. I love it. Dustin Poirier back on the proven ground here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Anderson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Here he continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
Anderson going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Back and forth we go. Shot to the body is blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Throws the right hand there. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Poirier's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. And fight. There it is. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Big power shot there. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. there. Poirier gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Big punch man to the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice slip and counter there by Poirier. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Great punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent. Oh, he's got him right here. Oh, he might be out. He didn't like that oh. right hand. Back to the feet. Poirier gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Oh! Anderson gets up, but the question is for how long he looks wobbly. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful strike. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So 
They have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh! Superman punch. Effective punch there by Poirier. What a body oh! kick. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Boom! Big jab. Ten seconds remain in round two. Two rounds in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. aggressive as he was in the previous round, landed a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Poirier gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. Going to the head kick here, it's there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nice jab. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Poirier. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's going for the choke. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now, watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Nicely done. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Dustin Poirier. Anderson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Punch coming, it's blocked. Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going Whoa. forward. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, just misses with the kick. Tags him with the left. 15 seconds. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damn it. Oh! There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat, there it is. Chest to the mat, pressure goes down, he'll start to take the air from his opponent. All right, so here we go, next round is underway. It looked like maybe we would get a finish by submission in the previous round. Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. He's gonna have to do things differently if he's gonna submit this guy. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both, Ooh, he's got him hurt here. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand punch to the clinch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh! Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big Superman punch there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very oh. bad. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, and now is when the cut man earns his money. You see the cut right on the eyebrow there, sustained in the round, and that could become a factor moving forward in this fight. Cut man is in there now. We'll see if he can close it up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Fifth and final round. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Bowman. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.